Boys and gents, welcome to CG Reaction, and this is slang words that I don't understand by the channel Salmonella Academy. Yes, another Sam video. This is about slang words. Apparently, it's a short video, but I think it's gonna be good. You know, Sam always uses topics that are just awesome. I've written quite a few Sam videos already, so if you haven't seen them, check it. Check it out. I'll create a playlist for it. It's in the cards. Check out other reaction I did. There's a link in the description with all of my videos. Check out the end cards. And yeah, let's watch this one. Hey kids, today I'm going to talk about a few slang words that I never understood. First is chicken legs. Now if you know me, you know that I'm leaner than lean. So I've received this insult a couple times, you know, hey chicken legs. But chicken legs really aren't that skinny. Here's a diagram of my leg, right? And here's the average chicken leg. Look at that. I wish I had that kind of calf definition. That's sexy as fuck. Yeah, okay, no. First of all, in USA, you know, mostly chickens are breeded in a way that they are much fatter, you know. So, you know, it, there's more meat for people to eat. Otherwise, chickens are usually slim. Their legs are slim. So that leg is just, you know, breeded in a way so people can eat more meat. So it's just more efficient in a way. You can have, you know more meat for your buck or something you know kfc's uh, i don't i don't i don't eat chicken so i don't know the words for it but yeah in the end kfc would have you know much thicker chicken legs for people to eat and people would you know like buy more if it's like that so i don't know it's uh it's something that people artificially did chickens are way more fatter than they should be i guess so that's why this is not natural Fuck, there are bodybuilders with less meat on their bones than that. And considering the fact that most people have interacted with the drumstick at some point in their lives, I'm frankly dumbfounded that anyone ever thought to use this to refer to skinny people. Then there's socking someone. Hey man, I'm trying to think of a new slang word for punching someone in the face really hard. Like just destroying someone with your fists. Got any ideas? How about one of the softest, gentlest, and most unassuming objects found in one's entire house? That's like kicking someone in the dick and being like, Whoa, bro, you just got feathered. Fuck you, don't try to downplay my suffering. If anything, I got shin-bashed in the dick bag. That's the proper level of vulgarity relative to the situation. Anyway, it would make a- Yeah, I think- st doesn't that- sh uh, That comes from, you know, putting some hard object inside the shock you know to make it like rock or something putting inside the sock and make it more blunt weapon i think in the past tribes used to fight that way i think that's where it comes from i don't know i think that's that would be it but yeah a little more sense if you said gloved because at least those are socks for your hands but no it's nonsense oh Next okay so you're supposed to put sock on your hand and punch somebody and that's sock. i don't know what the hell is that i have no idea blow in reference to cocaine. It's a form of air movement, so I guess this one is like half correct, but it could still lead to a lot of confusion. Yo, y'all wanna do some blow? Oh gee whiz, voila, okie dokie. Oh, oh, I'm feeling it. It's kicking in. Ho oh, doggy, that's some nifty blow you got there, eh? Get out of my house. Next is nuts. Alright, it's a simple, blow it up your nose in a way. I know it's weird to say it, I mean, how can you blow something up your nose? That's, it's opposite of what it should be, but yeah, it's something like that, blow it up your nose. It's pretty simple, even though it is stupid. Somebody is nuts, it means they're wild, they're crazy, they live life on the edge, right? What the fuck is so exciting about this? Finally, box. Okay, about nuts. I'm pretty sure that's an older reference where people used to say you're out of your nut or something like that because nut was supposedly your head. Because, you know, walnuts, it has a hard casing and if you crack them inside, there's, uh, you know, inside walnuts, what you eat is like brain type looking thing. So people like your head you know they used to you know start using words like your head is a nut so you're out of your nut which is you're out of your head or something like that so that's why you're nuts means you're crazy 
So box is a common slang word for one's lady bits, right? Now I've only been around two vaginas in my life. I came out of one of them when I was born, and I spent most of my time around the other one with my eyes closed, so my knowledge on that subject might be a little shaky. However, I have been around hundreds of thousands of boxes in my life. I know those inside and out, so that should make up for it. And let me tell you, these two things could not be less similar in shape. You see, box... Uh, dude, it's pretty... <laughs> Let's just say you put things inside the box, and I mean that should that should tell you what's the similarity. That that's it. Boxes have corners. Yeah. If your pussy has corners, you should probably start taking the tampons out of the container before you put them in. Likewise, if you compare the properties of either object, you'll notice that they're basically opposites in. Geometric homophysic. <laughs> Can be, can be, only smells like a fish if you put fish in it, smells like fish whenever it pleases, okay. Rectangular prism, containing a, he, he had to rhyme the last one, he had to rhyme this one, obviously. Every way, so as a slang word, it's totally unfitting. Anyway, that's all for today. Till next time, I'm Sam Manella, and thank you for watching. That was a pretty short clip, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, most of them make sense, man, obviously. The nut thing I just know because, I don't know, where somebody told me that. I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty old, like a century or two old thing where people used to, you know, uh, refer to their heads as nuts because of the walnut thing. Like I said, you know, inside of walnuts looks like brain. Walnuts casing is hard. You know, your head has a hard casing, so yeah, it's a skull. So, yeah. That's where the nuts, so you're nuts means you're, you're out of your nuts, something like, you you know, you lost your, lost your head or something like that. So yeah, it's that. Box thing is this, you put things in, in that, you put things in. What weird thing is, male counterparts, you know, it's, let's just say referred to as chicken. Other word of chicken, but I don't know if I can say that without YouTube going ape shit. But chicken, how is that a chicken? In which way is that a chicken? So that's uh, weird. So yeah, th this was a, uh, the socking. I thought the socking would be, you know, that thing people, you know, in the old times people used to do something like that while fighting. They put rocks inside a sock and use that as a, I don't know, something to club somebody. But he's talking about putting socks on their hand and using that as some kind of boxing gloves or something. That is just stupid. What's the point of that? If anything, shocks, I mean, yeah, in a way, yeah, you know, it will it will make sure that your knuckles are not, you know, completely destroyed by punching people, I don't know. So, yeah, that was just weird. Well, as uh, Samonella videos goes, this was one of them, why not? Alright, people, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe, check out the other reaction I did, there's a link in the description. Check out the playlist, like Samonella playlist, SCP playlist, there are lots of playlists, check out in the cars, check out the end card, and yeah, I guess I'll see you next time.